How far would you go to help a complete stranger? Watch this. Dr. Fish, just tell us uh, again, one of the humane sides of your story was uh, the peasant woman. Well, I think that was, uh, we were walking through the Alps. Uh, took us almost two some months to walk through. And we get, sometimes for days, neither food nor even water. Just walking aimlessly? Just walking, no. We have walked from the early morning until the sun went down. Do you have any idea where you were even going? No, we didn't know that. But we, the reason for all this, this is called the dead march. The reason for this was because they did not want us to be liberated. So we had to walk. Because the Russians now already at the Hungarian and Austrian border or okay. German border. Americans already in Germany. So they wanted to squeeze uh, the people from the camp. Even from Auschwitz, people had to go. And so, we didn't get for days sometimes food or water, and uh, uh, we took, threw away the blanket in the morning, and we pick up from the dead people in the afternoon, because anyone who could not walk any further, they just sit down and they shot them on the head. So uh, in one day before we started to go to the walk, an Austrian woman uh, threw apple to us, and you can imagine the con uh, the people started to scream and running to try to get the apple and uh, she was shot and killed in front of us. So this is just again an example that people for absolutely strangers try to be helpful. Even so it was dangerous or deadly. Deadly. And uh, so this is what I think that we should emphasize. And remember. In other words, you know, what my purpose of my talks is usually that in order to be respected, you have to respect other people. And, uh, and then uh, what I try to explain to the young people that we are born as a biological animals. And even if your mother is a good person, you didn't inherit that. You have to learn from it. So it's like the tadpole became a frog. In order to be a human being, you have to learn that. And if you are so smart, why are you in the school? Why don't you just go home and watch mm -hmm. television? Because the brain is not enough, you have to put something in it. Right. You have to learn to and be good or bad. Is, the other thing is, which is we always talking about, we're going to have another president or the North Koreans or whatever. The only change in this world can be done by you. You are the only one who can change. And you make and change a few other people. Don't start to me that big changes we want to do in the world. I'm a, citizen of the world. Well, the world does not accept you as a citizen. Start with the one person that yeah, you're... one person of the world.